This is a great question. Someone trains at an MMA gym and they go for mounted triangles and they kick their partners in the face. Well, technically legal on the pry rules. Pry rules, yeah. So keep it up. But they said for the sake of their partners, they want to know how do I do a mounted triangle where I don't just throw my leg up and kick them in the face. So, mounted triangle. This is always a good one. Uh, so any kind of triangle, you need to realize one, I need to isolate one arm, which is the arm that's gonna be outside. When we're mounted, one of the best ways to do this is actually shooting my arm through here to control the head and then driving my knee up nice and high here. So I have a nice elbow and knee connection. I'm leaning this way. My foot is gonna go from being up to like on the side of my foot so I can keep my knee down because I am leaning this way. And I'm gonna put my weight this way because Matt starts trying to push me and roll into me. The other way, the other way. I don't wanna, if my weight is too far back, I'm gonna get rolled over. Okay, sometimes you can set that up as he, he tries to roll me over. I can throw the triangle on as we roll through, but then we wouldn't be mounted. But something to think about if you wanna lay some traps. Now, if we're here, we're leaning forward, I have two options. One, keep the arm in and throw my leg over the arm, or two, extend, my arm, extend the arm and throw the leg this way. So if we do it this way, Sometimes you can set this up by like, start putting your hands on the lapel and making this guy nervous about the choke, he brings it in. I'm gonna push this down, grab my leg, and get my knee as close as possible to the neck. Now I can close, start working on the triangle. Get into this spot, other times it's good enough because you can just turn and take this arm bar. But this is gonna be the easiest way not to kick your partner, is just having this hand here. So all you have to do is just get to this spot with your calf here, and now you're gonna pull as you rotate your hip through, right? And now you have to get your angle here and close. If you have really tight hips, sometimes it's easier to roll through mm -hmm. to uh, put the, the hook on. So I'm gonna go here and here, but again, not, it's a triangle but we're not gonna be mounted, go back. So, if you have really tight hips, just make sure my, um, my hips are not facing forward, but I gotta get my hips to face this way. Now, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to close it. So it's gonna be about, make sure you get this arm, try to like lock, my, like lock your arms. Don't let him lock his arms around you, but then it's gonna be harder for you to get the angle that you want. So if you can, just keep control. Once you get here, just make sure you pull this. So now it's a lot easier for you to close the triangle by turning your hips. So, one more time. We're here. Arms gonna shoot here. Get here, be able to pick up this head. Now either outside or inside. If you're doing the outside, we're gonna go this way. Catch, rotate, and then rotate back. So I'm gonna rotate this way to shoot my leg all the way through, then rotate back to close. So I rotate back to close, I lift, I close the triangle, I'm here, now I can pull the head, make sure I'm squeezing my knees, and we got a tight triangle there. Anything you wanna add? I'm kinda of trying to think through how they're kicking him in the face. I'm betting it's just you're sitting there looking at the guy, and then going, whack, and just throwing your foot over with no setup. I think if you throw your foot over without lifting the head, 100% of the time you're gonna kick him in the head. Yeah, because he throws his leg at my head, but it, the thigh catches my neck, it's not the heel. So, so we're gonna show what we're talking about? Yeah, so I was trying to imagine how it's happening. So if you're here, and maybe you're just like pinning the arms down, and you go, it's triangle time, and you just throw this <laughs> over. <laughs> Give uh, a cauliflower here real quick with your heel. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking is like, because when Nelson did it, his leg comes over quick, but the back of the calf hits it. But if I'm down here, I don't think I can do that. Yeah. So you need a setup where you have something happen where you can like get, and Nelson's doing this, getting up high. So when you go to do something and throw the leg over, like it's actually hard to kick him in the head. Because I'm going to get to here, yep. my foot's behind the head before that. And then it can be hard to get this foot under that, like the actual true triangle without leaning. Because then you, you need this off the ground to get under there. I'll say sometimes that's even still hard, like you can't get your foot hooked. It can be enough just to have them close and then turning this way like Nelson did. Ideally you would have it locked. One thing I learned from a friend, um, my friend John Keller down in Florida, was on here, like Nelson said, don't stay looking straight at their head. 
turn this way, and then he would even turn and hug this leg and just keep turning that way to finish, and then try to scissor the legs here. So here, here, pull on that, and then scissoring the legs to finish. So that way you don't have to roll over, you don't even have to get the full triangle, meaning yeah. you don't have to lock under your knee. Those steps can be hard because you're resting on your knees. But then, because a lot of times when you lack, what, I always mess this up, external? What, what kind of body part are we talking about? This, yeah, external hip rotation. If you, if you lack the external hip rotation here, and then you, some people just can't access the shape to get the nice clean triangle because you want that line mm -hmm. that's like above the shoulders only the, only the one arm and the neck are in. So if I have tight hips and all I can access is this and I don't have access to this, then you really have to turn your hips so now you're getting the angle without so much hip rotation because you're mm -hmm. rotating your hips themselves. Yeah, your whole pelvis turns rather than just the one thigh. Yeah. So those would be our pro tips for the mountain triangle.